Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. In today's HitFilm tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can create a title card inspired by the opening titles from Loki. If you like this kind of content then please leave a like on this video and subscribe. Anyway, let's get on with this tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new composite shot. This composite shot will be the container for all of the different font changes. We're going to get that done and out the way before moving on to the backgrounds and the final title and the final grade. I'm going to call this composite shot font change and I'm going to set the duration to being 13 seconds. Then I'm just going to press OK. Inside of this new composite shot I'm going to create a new text layer. On this text layer, I'm going to write the name that I want my title to be for. I'm going to write Nathan, all in capitals. Then I'm going to set this text up to be the size that I want it to be in the final title. So I'm going to scale it up to around 350. And then I'm also going to separate out the letters a bit more. I might actually scale it down again. Just tweak these settings until you get a look that you want. And then I'm going to use the layout panel to recenter the text if it's been moved. And then I'm going to rename this text layer to being base text. I'm going to move on by 10 frames and then use the slice tool to cut this layer. Then I'm going to get the base text text layer selected and copy it. I used control C, but you could right click and select copy. And then I'm going to paste it at the end of each of the previous clips. After you've done this, you should almost have a staircase of text layers in the timeline. And this is where we'll then be going through manually changing the fonts of each of the different letters. Effectively, what you want to do is go through and change the fonts of each of these letters for each of these uh, text layers. If you do want to get some different fonts to use, then you can go over to a site like thefont.com, which offers a ton of free fonts for you to download and use in your projects. I'm going to be copying a similar style to they use in the Loki opening titles, where they kind of just have a random selection of fonts. If you want to, you could go in and select random letters uh, and then randomly change their position on the line by changing the baseline shift in the text controls, which I'm going to do a bit of that just to add a bit more variation. As in the actual title, uh, some of the letters jump around on the line a bit. Once you've done that, create a new composite shot. This is where we're going to be assembling all of the assets. So we're going to be putting the font change comp and also the final logo composite shot that we're about to make uh, together as well as some grades and some random bits of distortion. So go over to create new composite shot and then create a new composite shot that is 21 seconds long and change the name to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to call this main comp and then hit OK. In main comp, I'm just going to drag in the font change composite shot. And now, as you can see, there is the font change composite shot in the timeline. What I'm now going to do is go over to create new composite shot once again and call this main title. And then I'm going to set this to being four seconds and two frames. However, it doesn't need to be that precise, it's just that's how long mine was when I created my version that I posted to Instagram. Inside of this main title composite shot, I'm going to grab the final font change that we had and just paste that in here. 
and then drag that out for the entirety of the rest of the shot. Then I will just change the font of the last A, just because then it will almost shift into the final. Then I'm going to start keyframing for the scale. I'm going to go to the start of the main title timeline and then start keyframing key for scale and then move towards the end of the timeline and then increase the scale a bit just so that then there is a bit of a change between size. Then I'm going to go back to main comp and then drag main title in so that it lines up with the end of font change. To add a bit of glitchy stutter I'm going to add the jitter effect to the main title composite and I'm then going to turn down the jitter amount to 3. This will make it a lot more subtle. This is now everything we need to actually get started with the effect. First thing I'm going to do is go over to the effects tab and search for tint. Then I'm going to drag and drop this tint onto the font change composite shot. We're then going to be mapping the white to a slightly off white green tint. I'm going to use the number controls that there are next to the map white to. I'm then going to copy this tint over to the main title composite because it's meant to be the same colour. I then want to subtly blur this text that we have here, so I'm going to search once again in the effects tab for angle blur. I'm then just going to drag this onto the font change composite once again. I'm then just going to reduce the length to 3 pixels. Then I'm going to duplicate this angle blur and set it to a different angle. And then remember to copy those angle blurs over to the main title composite. Then I'm going to create a new grade layer. On this new grade layer I'm going to be adding some glows. So I'm just going to search in the effects tab for glow and drag and drop the glow effect onto the grade layer. Then I'm going to play around with these settings to get a nice glow. Then I'm going to add some noise. And then I'm going to set that noise to being monochrome. Then you want to create another new grade layer. And on this grade layer you want to add a letterbox. And also a vignette. I'm going to use the vignette 1080p preset. I'm going to put this above the letterbox in the effect stack. What we've done so far isn't all that clear as we do have a plain black background. So this is where we now need to add some background images that randomly change similar to the fonts. For this you then want to create a new composite shot and call this backgrounds. Then you can set it to being the same length as the composite shot and then hit OK. For these backgrounds I'm going to be using some Action VFX Lens Dirt textures. You can find them for free on their website and I'll leave a link to them down in the description below. I'm then just going to start dragging in some of these Lens Dirt textures and making them quite big so it's not all that clear as to what they are and then moving them around. Then I'm going to cut these down to being 10, seconds e 10 frames each as well. You could use any other textures that you have. You could use some from Production Crate. Uh, you could use some paper textures that you could find. Uh, it doesn't have to be lens dirt and it doesn't have to be these specific lens dirt textures, but I found that they worked really well for what I wanted to do with them. Because these backgrounds will be fairly subtle and in the background, uh, you might just want to duplicate some of them again. And then you could always mix the order up, just to add a bit more variation. 
Then after you've created a lot of alternating backgrounds, you might want to create a new grade layer at the top. And on this new grade layer, you might want to tint some of these to a more green uh, or blue, just so that they look a little bit more interesting. I used a tint before I tinted it to be a colour to tint them more black and white in case some of the uh, lens dirt had previous colour. After, I was ha uh, after you're happy with the backgrounds, go back over to your main comp and then drag in the background composite shot. Then go to the end Go, then go to the end of the main title composite and then stop the backgrounds from running past that point. I feel like the backgrounds in this example are quite strong, so I'm going to lower the opacity of the backgrounds layer, just to make them slightly more subtle. I might also adjust the settings of the vignette. I'm also going to animate the scale of the font change composite over the course of the shot to go from around 80 to 100 by the end because then it continues scaling into the main logo comp. If you have the particle simulator add-on then you could grab that it from the effects tab and then drag and drop that onto the timeline over the top of everything else then go down to emitters and use the particle simulator to create some random white dots to give it an aged uh, tape look. If I go down to shape and change it from point over to quad and then change the quads, shape, uh, the quads width and height to the same as the projects which is 1920 by 1080. And then if I go down to particle systems and then it leave the particles per second at 50 and then under movement change the life to 0.1 seconds this means that on every frame there will be new white dots and then also under movement I will decrease the scale from 100 to something around 10 I'll go with 12 just to make them slightly more subtle you might notice that they're not on the first frame so if you go over to general up at the top then you can change the time shift to make some appear on, f on frame one. I feel like these white dots are slightly too crisp so in the effects tab I'm going to search for lens blur and then drag and drop this on the particle simulator and then decrease the radius to around five. Maybe slightly less, something close to two. This will just blur them slightly, making them less clear. I also feel like there is too much noise being generated by the noise effect, so I'm going to decrease the amount from 50 to something a bit lower. I might go with something around 15 to 20. And if you wanted to, you could change the seed, or you could turn it off of being monochrome noise to add that extra uh, bit of colour in. And here is the final uh, effect that we just created. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, if you want to be notified when I next upload, then please uh, ring the bell that's next to the subscribe button, and hope to see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>